Well, hello everyone, uh, or the three or four people who actually will watch this. Uh, so this is another unboxing and a little product demo, and towards the end there's a little probably unsafe modification for this edger. Oh, that's Frankie in the background, my dog. Just uh, spin the box around a little bit and then uh, get it opened up. Uh, this is a two-function edger. It has a, well, of course, it's for edging sidewalks, driveways, but it also is marketed as a trencher. So I, I think you could use it to put in a put in some small, maybe landscaping water lines or something. I haven't tried that yet. So uh, here, here we are looking in the box. It's, it's packed well, and it, it, and it arrived without any damage as far as I can tell. Just throw the cardboard on the floor there. <laughs> All right, so just get that upright. Carefully positioning the box so you can see what it is. Not as good as like a home shopping thing, but I think I'm getting better at these unboxing videos. So here you go. This is the works. This is what Amazon recommends now as an edger. And since I couldn't get a replacement blade for my Scott's edger, that became just a pile of rubble, really. So disappointed about that. But this is definitely an improved edger. So uh, same, you know, it, it's an easy assembly, just a couple of little uh, wing nut bolts, uh, simple, simple instructions and a little handle there. Uh, the handle is a little bit, it takes a bit of strength to put that handle on. You'll see me later on struggling to get that uh, spread apart wide enough to fit onto the handle. So anyway, and I just thought I'd, there's the blade and it's got those primitive looking teeth on there, but th that really does work. Um, just a uh, three, little three piece, you know, collapsed handle. Um, you know, if you get an electric edger, you will need some long extension cords, and really you're going to need some pretty stout ones. This is an 11 amp edger, so it definitely draws some current. So, uh, I guess on to the assembly. Oh, one more part before we go to the assembly. This one has a kind of an interesting little swing down guide. Uh, you can move that lever. I suppose that's part of the, it's a trencher or an edger. When you have the guide down, it will follow the concrete. And then this is the, the front depth guide. And there's a little uh, detent there in that wheel. Uh, you, you'll you see there, it's like, what, what's going on here? But you know, I could, you can feel it there with your thumb. So the idea is to get it lined up and then there's a little scale there by my left thumb. Uh, and then just lock it in. So, you know, and I always go as deep as it go because I like a very clear um, line between the uh, between the lawn and the, the concrete. So here, I'm just trying to show now uh, how deep you'll, you can expect that blade to, to trench when you when you've got the the wheel in different positions. It, it's plenty. I, I think it's plenty. So let's look uh, close up there on that uh, medieval looking blade again. Oh, and, and there's the guide. You can see how it just kind of, that the intent there is for that to just slide along the edge of the concrete. And it, it probably does make a difference in uh, keeping it straight. So uh, now to the assembly, it's pretty straightforward. You just have the two little wing nut bolts to put through the handle. Um, I was a little confused about one part, but uh, it, that is, which hole am I supposed to be lining up here? I mean, there's two holes. So uh, I, 
I didn't see anything in the instruction about which hole, so I just put it into that the, all the way in and then put the bolt through that second hole. Same thing on the upper um, connection there. I just I slid slid in all the way till it till it lined up and uh, cut a little bit of video out there. That actually took a while. In in there and the same thing. Just take the little. Uh, wing that uh, get the right hand there so you can turn it. Just, you know, thumb tighten down. Now the next part is that handle, and it it um, it takes a little bit of a, a strength, you know, to spread that handle out where it will go onto the uh, uh, handle. Too, I'm saying handle too many times. I don't know how to explain that thing. Hand grip or something. Uh, also, these little uh, guides, there is an up and a down to those, so you need uh, you, you need to get those guides aligned with the hand grip before you put it onto the handle, uh, so that it will all fit together. I don't think you'll have uh, much trouble with that if you just look. You can see how that's got a guide in it. Frankly, probably could have been designed a little bit differently, but anyway, you get that in its place and then um, just slip the handle, the hand grip onto the handle. Um, and you can see I'm going to have to kind of force it around there. If, you know, the, the spring action of the hand grip holds it into place. And then get the other locking. Uh, mechanism in place, and again, you kind of, kind of pull it apart and get it aligned in there. But once it's in there, it'll it'll snap in place, and and then you can adjust it just a little bit. Uh, bolt through there, and then a wing nut. It's tightened up. It's uh, well, time to take it out there and uh, give it a try. So. There we go. All right, let's take this guy outside. So, spread my cord. I'll speed through some of this here, get the cord in place, and uh, uh, then show you how this works. You know, I, I didn't put uh, ear protection on. Probably that'd be a good idea. It's a, it's a little noisy, not like a gas, but a little noisy, and it's a higher frequency sound too, so perhaps uh, ear protection would be good. So, uh, normally I I just go forward and, and that's it but for this demonstration I'll uh, go ahead and back it back go backwards down the trench so it'll clear it out uh, and you can see what it looks like and then you know take the camera and get a little bit of a, a zoom in on uh, what that trench looks like um, you know it, I think it does a Obviously, brand new blade. It's sharp and uh, it, it does a good job. It's a real clean line, and that guide uh, keeps you from drifting away from the concrete too badly or uh, whacking the blade. Now, this next part is something I, you know, I I can't advise you to 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 hack into the safety shield, but this is what I did. You know, I got my Dremel tool, and oh, by the way, th these Dremel tools with that snap lock, man, that's that is the bee's knees there, uh, or that easy lock. Uh, if you've got a Dremel tool, you know, get yourself one of these easy locks for your cutoffs. 
you just uh, there's a little spring-loaded clip there and you can change these blades in just moments. It's so much better than the old-fashioned, you know, take it out, lock it in with a little set screw. And uh, Anyway, that's definitely a product tip there is to get a, uh, a little easy lock on your Dremel tool. So I took the tool and I just cut this plastic rock guard and I didn't remove the entire guard. I mean, that would really be su uh, stupid. But I did cut cut this little piece out. And it's because the lawn is so high above. I tried to make it match with the front. Uh, the lawn is so high up above where the sidewalk is in some places in the yard. Here, after the fact, here, I just want to show you. You can see that over the decades, the lawn has really built up above the sidewalk grade and with that guard in place you can't cut through that it just it just won't do it so I, I cut the the guard off so that I could you know cut this uh, sidewall onto the lawn um, and of course that's why I need the edger so much is because it just keeps collapsing on the sidewalk which, which I don't like well, anyway, that's it for today. Thank you. You know, like and subscribe. Thank you to four or five people, really. Uh, if you have any questions, just, you know, leave a comment. Thank you.